Hi and welcome back. Um, today we're going to make a little video about the uh, Ryzen 7 5800X. Um, please remember to subscribe and, and like. Uh, that would be great. So no further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Um, the Ryzen 7 5800X was launched in Q4 2020. So it's been around for almost two years. So it's not an old processor, but I have been looking and, and uh, just to make sure I look now at user benchmark. So this is um, not my uh, statements it is basically what I found on internet myself that's what I based this whole video on so we start with uh, with this one here we have the i9 9900k so they match this up against the Ryzen uh, 5800x and the reason why I, I make this video today is because I have two computers, uh, both with Ryzen 7 5800X. Now, the, the i9-9900K is the ninth generation. So it's a good processor, many people still use it. And the difference here on, on the speed, I mean, the, the, the Ryzen 7 is 4% faster then the i9-9900K, the ninth generation. Then we have the 10th generation. This is the one like Ryzen was going to compete against. And actually Ryzen 9 was supposed to, to compete against the i9 and Ryzen 7 uh, to compete against the i7. So even here, the Ryzen 7 can compete against the i9-10900K. Now, if we look here, game FPS, and we come down to effective speed, it's 1% difference. You could never notice 1% difference. It's the same. I mean, here Ryzen 7 already beat uh, yeah, i9 9th gen, it's the same as i9 10th gen. And I mean, then we look at the 12th, the 11th gen. So that came out later. So, I mean, about five, six, six months-ish later. Um, five, six months later, this is i9 11900K. And you see here, um, it's four, faster than the Ryzen 7. Four percent. That's not a significant number. Four percent is so little that I would say they are quite equal. They are quite the same. Uh, then Intel launched the 12th generation. And we're going to have a look at that because the 12th generation there is a jump. And there is a jump here. As you can see, we have a jump of 15%. So the i9 12900K, so the 12th generation, the newest Intel uh, as is today, actually is 15% faster than the Ryzen 7 5800X. Now that is significant. That is, you, you, can, you can notice 15%. Um, so, but I would like to say, how good is the Ryzen? It kept, it kept track with Intel on the ninth generation, on the 10th generation, on the 11th generation. It wasn't before the, like the fourth generation, the 12th generation that Intel kind of pulled off, uh, pulled ahead. So, I would say the Ryzen 5000 series is still an awesome uh, processor. Very good CPU. Now, just for fun, I, I also looked at another one in the 10th 
generation that that was the generation that the Ryzen 5000 series should compete against. And this is this is the i9 10850K. Um, also a very good processor. Um, but again, here the Ryzen 7 is 1% faster. So, I mean, the Ryzen 7 5800X, is it worth buying now? Like now in maybe a couple of months, uh, the 7000 series is coming out. But is it still worth to buy Ryzen 7? 5800X with a DDR4 when now uh, Ryzen is coming with the 7000 series and, and DDR5. Uh, I'm not an expert, but my logical thinking is yes. And I would say yes, it is still worth it. But you need to make sure that you also have RAM that, that kind of fit in my 30 liter, I have RAM that is uh, 3200 megahertz, and you shouldn't have lower than that, I think. But on my 45 liter, I was lucky. I have 3733 megahertz DDR uh, RAM. So I feel that my RAM is uh, good enough. My processor is without a doubt not good enough. So yes, my computers will last long. Uh, if you get a good deal on the Ryzen 7 5800X, you have an awesome um, CPU. And uh, as you see, you can match it to i9 uh, for you know, the ninth generation, 10, 11 generation. It, keep, it actually is very the same as it's a little better than the ninth generation, same as the 10th, 4% uh, less than the 11th. Um, so only the 12th generation can jump over it. Um, but you know what? It knew, it's coming new all the time. Just for instance, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let you know like why, I mean, you don't need the newest all the time because in 2021, in Q1, Intel launched uh, the, the, the uh, 11th generation. Now in Q4, they all launched the 12th generation. So within like about 10 months apart, they, they launched 11th generation and the 12th generation. So it go that fast. You cannot have the newest because it go six months, 10 months, and it's something new. What you should look at is what CPU will actually last long. What is a strong and good CPU that, that run good for whatever use you, you have. And for me, the Ryzen 7 is an amazing uh, CPU. I love it. I, I dig it. And, and it's proven that it's good. And I'm very, very happy with it. So I'm excited to see what the uh, 7000 series will be, how it will become. It, will it beat the 12th generation? Will it stay on strong for another three, four generations? I don't know. We just have to wait and see. When will it come? Again, I don't know. It could be here in one month. It could be here in two months or, or it could be here in four months. We just have to wait and see. But I'm excited to see it when it come. And Intel, yeah, they did good on the 12th gen, but I'm still happy with my Ryzen 7 5000 series. And yeah, Ryzen AMD, is certainly not a bad choice so again remember to subscribe and remember to like and uh, see you again next time bye bye